your love. Good afternoon. My name is Kimberly Henderson, and I'm the executive director here at the Center for Contemporary Printmaking in Norwalk, Connecticut. We're here today um, hosting a virtual exhibition opening for CCP's seventh annual Footprint International exhibition. Um, everything is up here in the gallery. Um, we're excited to have the exhibition um, up and ready for people to see. We thought it would be helpful right now in time of COVID to do a virtual exhibition opening so that those of you who are remote would be able to see what we do have here. Um, the exhibition is available for people to come and visit. Um, the exhibition visits need to be um, by appointment. So do reach out to CCP to find out what the availability is on the schedule and we'd be happy to have you come here. What I'd like to do today is to show you around the gallery and to start with the award winners for the show. Uh, they're all here at the front of the gallery when you first come in. Our first place winner is Christina Aaron, an artist out of New York, and this is her print path. It's a monotype, and Christina has also been awarded by our juror, who's Jane Kinsman, Curator Emeritus at the National Gallery of Australia, um, also awarded for the Awagami Paper Award. Our next winner is second place, um, Anna Trojanowska. She's from Poland, and she submitted this print, Muscle Memory 2. This one is a lithograph. Welcome to come and take a look. The third place winner is actually split in two. We have two third place winners. Um, it's Kyle Chaplet here from Texas with his print Rio Bravo 3-3, which is a lithograph with laser engraving and screen print. And this print here from Joanna Anos from Illinois her print is titled, Had We World Enough Four Quarters? It's an engraving relief with sheen filet. All right. As we come through the gallery, we have work up here, the initial wall and the reception area. And many of the prints that are included in the exhibition are prints by CCP member artists. And we're thrilled to see that they were um, juried into the show. But we also really appreciate the entries and the contributions made by artists who are not CCP members, but are interested in participating and being a part of what we do here. So we'll come into the gallery, the main room, and here we have the remaining prints. So this is CCP's seventh biannual footprint exhibition. So we host this every other year. And one of the most exciting parts of having this exhibition up is the variety of prints that people submit. Both by subject matter, by printmaking process, and certainly the worldwide aspect of them, in that these come to us from all over the world. Now, I'd also like to point out um, some additional award winners for this exhibition. 
Sandra Cardillo's work here, she's from Massachusetts, is City Framework 7. It's a woodcut and a screen print. Then we have two winners of our Binnie Burstein Memorial Prize. This is a print by Barry Goldstein from North Carolina, Sunset at Kiawa, and it's a digitally created print. Our second Binnie Burstein Memorial Prize winner is from Jane Cooper here in New York, and her print is called Postlude. It's a monotype on aluminum leaf with hand additions. And then our final prize winner is a, our second honorable mention by Chris Lowry from Australia. The print is titled Road Trip in Western Victoria, Dust, and it's a lighter cut. It's been fascinating to see all of these prints come into us after they were submitted online for digital review. And getting to see the prints in person is such a different experience than looking at them digitally. And if you are interested in coming to see the exhibition and to see these prints in person, please do. There is, there is definitely a difference in seeing things in person. Um, as much as we understand that everybody is constrained by the current um, COVID environment, um, we are hoping to see as many of you as possible to come in and actually visit the exhibition when you can. So thank you, and we hope you enjoy the show. <laughs>